Blitz ends up playing against CPU2 here, who is sporting that Luigi. Yeah, interesting matchup coming in right now, because I know Sonic is going to want to just go ahead and spin dash, try to get in there. But what Luigi has is that Fireball. Uh, the Fireball is going to go ahead and clank whenever, right there. Actually, clank whenever Blitz is going to approach with that uh, spin dash. So yeah. I wonder how uh, Blitz is actually going to deal with it. Now, C CPU2 is making one very common mistake against Sonic here. Uh, good thing is that Luigi has a lot of good damage output. Um, but whenever Sonic is sitting there in spin dash, if you take an action, Sonic's going to move. But you have to be really patient and figure out exactly how you're going to stop that spin dash. Ooh, great back air right there coming out of that. Drop the spring. Nope, goes for the back air. Yeah, I was actually expecting a spring too. Surprised that he tried to go for the very, very aggressive option of the back air. Yeah, Blitz. Oh, air dodges into the ground. Ooh, but with that lag, he's to eat that forward smash. Great stuff to CPU too. Getting that first stock. Yeah, Blitz making a... Uh, some really good decisions for punish game, but not to get the kill. He's been making a few interesting decisions that way. Yeah, I mean, he's racked up a lot of percent, but he still needs to try to get the stock. Drop spring the spring. This no, again, going for that back air. Yeah, because when you use the spring, Luigi has to be. You know, he can immediately jump it up B, and it'll uh, clank with the spring so that Luigi will still make it back to the stage. But it's always a good option to put out there because it's, it's safe. Yep, and I think that's something that... Blitz is going to have to do, especially the way that CPU2 has been recovering. He's been going with that missile first and then going for that up B. Yeah. But solid back air. They're coming from Blitz. Yeah, Blitz has done the cross up back air on shield uh, two times now. And it's been a really clean option for him. Fireball into the grab. CPU2 does not get the DI he wants for that down air. But he does get a little bit more damage at the end there. Oh, jab into Shoryu. CPU2. Looking like a level 9 CPU right now. Excuse me? Well, Luigi just wins. H hello? Single jab? Single jab into the upbeat. He said, Chin check, bah! <laughs> <Just out another. laughs> <laughs> Immediate <laughs> sure you, Doug. I mean, this. I don't think right here that this is coaching. What I think. I think nah, he's being nah, told that this nah. man is. Yeah, they, they're dog. just like, bro, you, you, you you're got good? bodied. <laughs> you got messed up. Man, he if you don't win, CPT if you don't win this next back. match and make yourself, or you at least blitz. make yourself look decent, you man, you gotta walk home. Oh, dog, it's so long. It's like two days. Man, it's like like three days. He may be Giga Blitz, and he may play Sonic. He definitely not as fast as Sonic though. Jody Bleak said, "You're not getting any Carl's Jr. If you oh. <laughs> with this, this set. you know what? Is he using his Carl's Jr. controller? No, he's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So far, Giga Blitz putting in that work, some good damage. But I feel like this is one of those points where we see um, we see more aggressive a play style than necessary. Like, you can always be more reactive. It's not that you have to be less aggressive, but you can be a lot more reactive than um, when you have a percent lead than just waiting, I mean, than going in first and giving your opponent an advantage. challenging that forward smash. But yeah, no. Right now we're seeing Blitz be very, just very, very more aggressive than he was coming in that first game. Ooh. Coming in with that spin dash and actually getting punished quite a bit when he's not getting it his way. Chopped in the neck. Giga Blitz trying to find something right now. He owns the floor. He just needs to be more patient. CPU2 throwing out some good aerials. Goes for the up smash. Does not get it, though. Jab, jab into the up smash. I thought we were going to see another Shoryuken yeah, right there. Yeah, I felt like it. No, great very nice conversion coming from Blitz right there. Uh, and this game's a lot closer than what it was coming in the first one. Ooh, tried to go for it again. Immediately, Blitz was like, no, no, not again. Not again. Winds up that punch. Knocks it out of the park. All right, so so the empty hop up B into the forward smash. Great great mix-up right there coming from Blitz. CPU2 trying to look for a kill option here. Its throws aren't going to give him much anymore. Too high percent for Blitz. Yeah, really the only hope that um, really CPU2 is looking for is try to get an up smash or even get to the ledge and try to hit him with a back throw. CPTUs. Two sticking to the air, but he's taking a lot of percent, for, uh, going for a lot of risky or just strange options, giving up the neutral or just charging up smash like that. Yeah, no. Right now, it's showing that CPU two is just really trying to get this stock. Oof. But speaking of getting that stocks, Giga Blitz getting that stock, getting a quick two stock. Yeah, uh, CPU two actually had used an aerial there, so Blitz immediately got that up smash. Clean option. Yep. All right, the ca cavalry coming right back. 
two <laughs> two blitz. He's like, all right, you can have some Carl's Juniors later. Uh, I got I got you on some Chris. Oh no fries. no no! He's he's charging up like Piccolo right now. <laughs> he really was about the special beam cannon. I mean, I know Blitz do it quite a bit. I mean, man, you see that new episode of Dragon Ball Super? I have not. I'm I'm gonna binge watch it all once it's like all. Oh my god! It was so good. <laughs> It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Man, I watched the new episode of Food Wars too. Man, that uh, yeah, thing make me hungry I'm watching that all the time. Why? Why is someone making these oxtails? <laughs> <laughs> Them oxtails looking too good. You took the oxtail. They were like, "Oh, he's searing it on both sides." I was Yo, like, "Bruh, right? <laughs> you can't oh, do right. this to me, now. bruh." I, I so like since um I don't wa I, I watch it every week. You know you know how it goes. You gotta wait a week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So whenever I watch it again, I always forget how over the top it is when they finally take a bite. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh yeah, it's gonna be cool. And all you see them go, oh, oh, <laughs> Anime was a mistake. <laughs> Yo, anime for sure was a mistake. Man, I binge watched Parasite. I was up until like six in the morning. My mm -hmm. mom walked in the room. She was like, Joey, what the hell you been doing? I'm like, mistakes. <laughs> well, what Blitz is doing right now is fighting against CPU2 on Dreamland. Definitely a mistake. No, oh, no. It's, it's good music. <laughs> man, it's not Planet Popstar, my man. Planet Popstar are the best music on this stage. I will say that right now. Nando, you cannot tell me Fountain of Dreams is better. But speaking of what is better, uh, CPU 2 going in all these areas. I can have a lot of percent onto Blitz. But Blitz answering right back with his spin down. Ooh, actually trading right there. Very interesting. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that I personally really like about Luigi, as I mentioned in that first match, the, output, the damage output of Luigi is pretty impressive. He hits you one or two times, and it's very easy for him to catch up. He's like over 10% with a lot of cereals. Yeah, exactly. But what really matters for Luigi is if he's able to get in. If you play a character that is able to stay away from his grabs, wall him out, Luigi doesn't have too many tools to try to get himself in other than his fireball. Yeah. Spring? Yep. There you go. Should have dropped another one. Does not wait. Instead drops down and goes for the forward smash. Cleans up the stock. Well, that's all you need sometimes, but... Now, CPU2 hitting him with his own backer. What? This man just went for the taunt spike. I, I swear, if he would have hit that, this I would have lost it. like a real CPU. I would have lost it. Oh! Sweep the floor. Hey, you missed, the, you missed that taunt? You get a down smash. So, you know, you reap the rewards. What I like about CPU2 is that he is going for options that we definitely have not seen in the match before. Yo, he's going for the options that you're like, you know what? Let me bust out something that they never seen before. Let me get this W somehow, some way. Yeah. Keeping people on their toes and having that element of surprise definitely has been helping him out. But Blitz is continuously winning uh, a lot of these exchanges. Racking out some good damage. Ooh, very nice down B to get back onto the stage right there. Going for another one. Uh, looking a little too randy right there. Can't get damage in like that. Good down smash. Ends up getting an up smash as well. CPU2 has the floor and is trying to pressure with fireballs. Blitz has him in the air. CPU2 makes it back down. Rolls in. And now they are just kind of just foregloring back and forth. Yeah. Uh, looking like a Pillsbury Doughboy out here. Uh, ke keeping up with them rolls. Making sure nothing's going to happen. But at the same time, uh, Blitz is a little... As I'm about to say, a little scared to try to get in. Hits him with that up smash. Clutching out the set 2-1 after losing the first game. But my friend, I actually gonna go hop off and go ahead and they play. Uh, I will a go lot grab of fun Telmo. Right there. I'm actually gonna grab somebody as well so oh. that we can have some early all right. game. So that that sounds great as well. Yeah. But all right, guys, myself and DC, we'll be back in a bit. Hit us up on Twitter and hit up the new people on Twitter. Treat them good. Treat them good. Treat them good. See you in a sec.
Somebody bumped the camera. What is up, stream? Telmo coming at you again, post PR reveal. Joining you for some matches right here with none other than the lovely 8 bit Mr. Q. How what is up, man? Tonight, man? <laughs> Do oh, you have to play? I guess I'm gone. <laughs> All right. I got to I got to play my match. All right. Well, it was a very nice That was very, very nice short lived. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. 5 second uh co-casting right, right there. Maybe no time. <laughs> Thank you for sitting down with me. Yeah. And All right, we're going to get into I can wait. I can I can come on until somebody comes on. Anyway, I am Compete League Telmo. We're going to be doing DMG's Kato versus, I think it's Bon? Bunch of nobodies? Bandit. Anyway, his name's Bandit. So it's going to be Villager versus Falco. And Bandit, I've met a couple times in bracket. And is it going to be DC casting with me? No, it's not. But, uh... I don't know. I don't know, actually. I mean, we're, we are going to probably be waiting for a co-commentator. If not, I mean, I'm more than capable of casting these two players myself. So let's talk about them for a second. Uh, I'm surprised they're meeting up in bracket this early. They're two really, really good players. Bandit's been around for a while, as has Kato. Kato playing that Falco, very flashy play style. If it ain't hype, he doesn't go for it. Probably most uh, most recently, notably, taking that hype, hype stock off Athena. As it looks like I'm going to be joined by DVB Sage hopping on the mic. What's good? I mean, freaking the SG Smash Tour is great. Oh, yeah. I'm having a blast. Yeah, I'm on a 500-mile adventure all over the Northern California region. It's a week-long trip. It's all over Twitter. Get on it. And <laughs> it's been great. We've already interviewed like 16 people. We're interviewing oh, already awesome. about like seven more tomorrow lined up. How long is that road trip going to be? Well, today's day two of seven. First Santa Rosa, now San Francisco, San Jose, Stockton, Sacramento, Chico, and then I'm back home in Ukiah to host my weekly. Hey, Ukiah. Yeah. Ukiah hype, by the yeah, way. Yeah, It's a beautiful place. Deep Valley Brothers. I'm yeah. happy that you know I'm, it. I'm not from there. Ukiah, but... but all the way, it's so yeah. beautiful up yeah. in the valley. Really, it's like it's northern, right. northern let's California. But let's uh, let's get in here. What's happening here? So it looks like we're gonna Woo! be having Bandit versus Kato oh, on names, stream. Names, Kato, who I'll interview tomorrow. But man, I love.